I was lucky enough to run into Paul Strau, the surfing legend at the Duke's Ocean Fest 2014. I asked him to tell me about his very first surfboard. My name is Paul Strau. I'm 71 years old and I'm born and raised here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I grew up right here on Waikiki Beach. So to me, it's like a backyard that is a treasured and very dear to me. I began surfing when I was about four, but that's not really surfing. That's when your father pushes you on a redwood board and you go wherever the board goes. Hopefully you, you, you stay with it. But I never forget the experience of riding a wave and watching all the fish dart under you and as you go over the coral reefs and it was just a total sensory experience and that's something I, I reflect on so regularly and kind of gives puts everything in alignment for me. My first surfboard was a redwood board which was a small down version of my dad's board and then my second one which I really surfed a lot uh, was an eight foot hollow board that we got from McWayne Marine Supply and I had the pleasure when I was 12 of having Tom Blake shape me my first balsa board. Uh, actually in our backyard, Tom came uh, through my father, who knew him, uh, shaped two boards for us, one for my dad, a 10-6 and a 8-6 for me. And I remember watching from the back door uh, to this rear garage, watching him work. He was a very quiet individual. But, um, so finally I started, one, one interesting thing, he made a square tail for my father, and I, he made what was funny with the, with, I didn't know what it was called then, but he called it a swallowtail. And so it had two points on it. So I said, why did you make that, my board, a swallowtail and my dad's a square tail? And he says, very simple. The fastest turning board is a pintail because when you roll it over, it goes in the direction that you're rolling to. And so, uh, unlike a square tail, where you have to step back and put a lot of weight in the, on the side of the board that you want it to go to. And so because you're only 12 years old and you're very light, and this board, is, this board will satisfy you for the next couple of years, you need to grow into it and get heavier to really maximize the length. But with these twin pin tails, which is a swallowtail, he called it, when you step on that one side that you want to go, it's going to bury that one edge, and you'll get the, basically the same effect as if you were riding a, a single pin. And so from that, I learned so much about, initially, about surfboard design, which gave me the foundation to understand the hydrodynamics of design and it was intrigued me all my life and it still does. My first foam board was a, a Hobie board in 1958. I got it through George Downing who was his first Hobie's first uh, sales agent here in Honolulu and that board really performed well. It was night and day in terms of weight and it allowed you to do so much more. It was so sensitive so I had I have fond memories of that foam yellow Hobie board. Special regards to all surfers here, especially all my brethren, all the brothers here who uh, I miss so much. And of course back all my, uh, my Iconi and my friends at the Surfing Heritage and Culture Center. Aloha everyone. <laughs>